Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Kansas City Chiefs coming up next. From a building that can get louder than almost any in the National Football League, this is GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium. Joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right mm -hmm. over them for big yardage. Maybe six points, too. Justin Tucker has this all teed up. And we're off from Arrowhead. His return starts at the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. So here come the Chiefs, taking the field for their first drive of the game. Leading them out, fresh off a third Super Bowl title. The standard for quarterback excellence today, Patrick Mahomes. This guy, Mahomes. <laughs> How many defensive coordinators have uttered that? This guy, Mahomes. All he's done is raise the bar of quarterback greatness in this league. He led the Chiefs to their fourth Super Bowl in five years. And, Kate, this is what's remarkable to me. Just the sixth quarterback ever to win three of them, and he's still only in his eighth year in this league. Throwing on their first play. Short pass caught by his tight end. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it's stopped. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for on first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable, and then creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. Second and three now. Throwing with a blitz on the way. Got a man open. Complete. And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. That'll go for an 18-yard gain. And it'll be first down Kansas City. I know the combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically, but I don't know how you test courage at the combine because there's nobody defending you. Nobody wants to hit you. But that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Looking to throw Mahomes. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. You know, I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps or just had a surprise break in concentration. So unusual to see one dropped unless there's a hit involved. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Here's Mahomes now. Moore's got it. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. And the Ravens go in nickel, third down. To the air, Mahomes. It's tipped away. Defender winning that rep. That brings up fourth down. Well, Kate, that wasn't a fast enough break for the interception, but it was good enough and a good enough break to break on the ball, get a finger on it, and foresee incompletion. The Chiefs looking to put on fourth down, so on comes Matt Ariza to handle it. And that kick a little too well struck. He drives it into the end zone for a touchback. So here now are the Ravens on offense to begin their first drive. And then brought out by the reigning MVP, the second of his career, the best runner in the game, it's Lamar Jackson. Decades before Lamar, it was a guy named Michael Vick that was the standard for dual threat quarterbacks. Well, today, it is Lamar Jackson, who at his best is an MVP caliber player and the most exciting player, not just at his position, but in all of football. 
And don't let that running overshadow the strides he's made as a passer in the pocket and as a franchise quarterback. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. No luck on the connection. It's incomplete. The offense not shy about sending him downfield to try and stretch that secondary, even still. One of the deeper targets you'll see him get. It's a shame they couldn't find a connection. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Here's Henry running left. And he got it real close, but stopped just about a yard or so shy of that first down. When you don't have great success on first down, Kate, it's a little bit like a hitter in baseball falling behind in the count. And all you want to do as a hitter is get back to a fighting chance. Give yourself a better count. That play, well, it does the same here. Now a much more manageable and opportune third down situation. Looking to throw on third and one. He'll get this to Henry. And they'll get there and stop him at the line. Those kind of completions are so frustrating, Kate. <laughs> it's like a putt. You got it online, you feel good about it, it's going in the hole, but you never want to leave it short. The Ravens going to pump this away, and here's Jordan Stout to handle that boot. He sends this away, and oh, this is going to be a field flipper. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. Big kick on that one, 62 yards. And they'll begin this possession in just a moment. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Mahomes. This one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. You know, I'm really not sure if that was an intentionally brave play to challenge double coverage or just simply not seeing the two defenders. Either way, what a tremendous throw and catch that earns some momentum. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. They bring their tight end left. Second and one. Short pass caught by his tight end. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. Eight yards on the gain, and the drive continues forward. There's no question the greatest concern there was just getting the first down. You want a high-percentage throw, and you're not really concerned about big yards. Well, the drag route was perfect. He comes open the short field. It's easy to zip that throw right in there and reset those chains. Here's Mahomes. Completes this one to Rice. And he's taken down directly on that 43-yard line. They get 13 on the pickup. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. They're going play action. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. 12 yards on that play and a good call. And that's him the first. When you watch the combine, you'll watch guys try to make this throw. And without chemistry, it's so hard to execute. That was picture perfect. That's a QB and receiver on the same page because that route, that deep out to the field, that takes a, just a different level of connectedness. Motion in the tight end now. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Timing is everything in life. And timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. They'll throw it again. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. I think that was a throw, Kate, that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Throws it 
throwing is Mahomes. It's tipped away and it's going to hit the ground incomplete. Defender winning that rep. That brings up fourth down. I'm just going to say maybe not the guy you want to pick on in coverage on this particular series. Gets a hand on that throw and knocks it away. The next time, well, he could get two hands on it and take it the other way. So on fourth down, the Chiefs field goal unit and Harrison Butker headed out. Ball on the right hash, 48 yards out. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that's going to break our tie and give them a three-point advantage. A dependable kicker, man. That is a coach's best friend. Saves him so much stress to have a guy he can really trust to go out and hit it from that distance consistently. Because from that far out, no kick is a guarantee. Butker on now to kick this one away. Return coming from the six. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. Now we'll get set to see the Baltimore offense for the second time. And they haven't gotten very far into their opening script yet, have they? Just a three and out to begin this game. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Back now, pressure on its way. Couldn't connect right side. It's incomplete. Well covered on that play. Really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Back to throw. Here's Jackson. He's got Andrews. And he's tackled for a short game. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on the throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. Let's see what they draw up on this third and seven. Here's Lamar. Pass complete on the screen. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And that's good for a Ravens first down. This dude just simply got a nose for the marker no matter how they get him the ball, Kate. Hand it to him, and he sniffs out that first down. Get it to him on a screen, and it's no different. He surges ahead and keeps this drive moving. New set of downs for him at the 38. Jackson throwing here. Completed to Flowers. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. Good luck defending that short yardage slant. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. Second and six coming up here. From the 42. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Well, both ends of their defense nearly came away with a huge play. Another step, and they sacked the quarterback. But even still, the hit altered the throw and almost set up a takeaway. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Now it's Lamar. Henry on the catch. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. At that down and distance, this group was pretty confident the screen would get them enough yards for the first, and it did. And so long as it keeps working like that, I bet you it'll be a go-to play for them when they need it the next time. New set of downs for him from the 46. On first down, they'll run. And he's brought down for a loss. 
There's just no question about it. He has the license to adapt a little bit, to diagnose plays because they trust his instincts. And there, well, it was all on display. Expert-level diagnosis going on to see a potential run and get in position to stop it behind the line. Second and 12 behind the sticks. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. Justin Reed has the INT. And the Chiefs take over after forcing the first turnover of this ball game. You can see it right off the snap. They got a really good read on where that was designed to go. Having that extra defensive back, that nickel coverage, so critical on that interception. Give that defense coordinator some credit. Had the right plan, the right personnel. These guys on the field made the right play. The Kansas City offense set to take the field. And the last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well. All right, the Chiefs in good field position here as they start out first and ten. Putting the tight end in motion. Hauled in by Rice. And they make the tackle at the 38. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. Kate, when Bill Walsh was implementing the drag route with the 49ers in the 80s, it sounded the same way as it did with Mike Holmgren and me with the Seahawks in the 2000s. First is man on a drag route run away. You see zone coverage, settle down, give your quarterback his numbers, and you can find a completion just like that. Throwing from the gun. This one finds Kelsey. And they can't bring him down until he gets into that red zone at the 19. They'll get 18 yards there. And it'll be first down Kansas City. If they get a handful of these types of plays per game, the pass game coordinator is going to be one happy camper. They're now set for first and 10. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. From the red zone now. Kelsey makes the catch. And this play reaches the 12-yard line before the stop is made. Only a solitary field goal so far as we're through one quarter. Just a field goal separates these two. Back to Arrowhead in just a moment. Second quarter about to get underway and an opportunity to score here for the Chiefs. They'll motion a tight end left. Second down, looking for options. And they will score! Touchdown, Kansas City! The Chiefs capitalize on the turnover and add to their lead. So Brock, this offense looking sharp here in the first half as they extend their lead. You know, and when things are going well, sometimes you really just get into a groove. And this is a unit that's putting the pieces together. Now Harrison Butker for the point after. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. to kick this one away. This one's fielded at the four-yard line. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. We see the Ravens making their way out now. They now trail by double digits after that last score, Bronk. It's 10-0 partway through here.
They're out and set. First and ten. They'll begin with a quick completion to the right side. And he gets back to the line, but no more. Defense all over that throw. You could just smell it. They just smelled that football coming their way, and that's as good as an incompletion. And they're going to be in a good spot. Second down coming up. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. Lamar back to throw. Got a man over the middle. Complete. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Plays on the table here for third and three. Now here's Lamar. Bateman hauls it in. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. It's a pickup of 11. And that'll be first down, Baltimore. Move the chains. Got to move them chains. Build momentum and keep that defense on its heels. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. One of the tight ends motioning left. Jackson looking to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. And this one doesn't go far. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bowling ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you've got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. From the 46, short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll take it past the midfield strike and start to push into Chiefs territory. Just two to go. They're going to try to pick it up with an option left. Breaks the tackle, green grass ahead. And they bring him down around the 34. The end result there, 15 yards and a first. That right there, that will make the coaches happy. He didn't just get the first down, but got a healthy chunk of bonus yards afterwards. Here's first and 10 from the 34. Shotgun snap, they're going to throw. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And they bring him down after the play reaches the 26. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Now Jackson. Pass complete to his back. And he gets this down to the 13-yard line. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. Kate, I can promise you, you go back and look at the most efficient offenses in the NFL over the last couple decades, one thing will resonate. You've got to be able to attack the middle of the field. It's great to do it with receivers. It's awesome with tight ends. But when you get that influence from your running backs, man, you become a dangerous offense to stop. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. Working inside the red zone. The throw is caught. And he drives this forward to the six. Following that completion, remember the O-line looks to be in some pain. They're headed out to take a look at him now. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Out of the 
shotgun. They'll give it to him inside. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. An offensive group really hoped he was going to get it all right there. Reset it back to first down. But instead, defense, well, they're not going to let anything come easy. And their fight is giving them a chance to stall things out. And third and short. From the gun on third down. Complete beyond the marker. And he'll get them enough for a first down. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. And he will carry this across for the Baltimore touchdown. The Ravens start to fight back with their first points of this game. It's a Lamar Jackson touchdown. They broke out the design run for him there. Coach just tells him, hey, Brock, KQB, do your thing. Get a six. Yeah, and these offensive coaches love this play, and defensive coaches hate it, Kate, because it really gives you an extra hat, right, an extra yeah. number when your QB's got the athleticism, got the legs, got the instincts to go run it in for six. A defensive nightmare, an offensive touchdown. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Volley set up, and it's away. Just a three-point game now. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And this will give them decent field position. The return gets out to the 30. The Chiefs are out once again. Their offense led by Patrick Mahomes. And after some momentum was wrestled away by that last touchdown drive, Brock, the pressure is on them to respond here. First and ten now from the 30. Now it's Mahomes. And there's a man there. It's intercepted. Roquan Smith with the pick. And the Ravens take possession down inside the 30 after the interception. Well, we all know, Brock, those slot guys start piling up receptions, and that makes them a priority target for the defense. Yep. They kept someone nearby, and they pick off that check down. Yeah, if a play breaks down in today's football, like back in my day, last century, right, you checked it down to the running back. That's not the case anymore. These yeah. slot receivers, well, they're as big a security blanket as running backs are, but the defenses, to your point, Kate, they figured it out, too. And that defense, well, they didn't just figure it out in their head. They went out and executed with their bodies to take it away. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Here's Lamar. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And he gets this forward to the 19. Well, he saw his guys pick up the blitz. Well, he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at them. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them. And the group up front to find somebody to get a completion so that effort up front wasn't in vain. Hand off on second and short. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. What was supposed to move the chains or at least make third down easier to handle instead? Did the exact opposite here, Kate. It now makes this third down a whole lot trickier to figure out. This drive in jeopardy. Here's a third and ten. Looking to throw, Jackson. Escapes the... Oh, he was on the move, and so is the defense, and they take him down. And the defense comes through, and that's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. Yeah. 
Which is a two-minute warning from Arrowhead. The Ravens inside a field goal range. Staring at fourth down, the Ravens will go with Justin Tucker to try for three. Miss from 48 on the left hash. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And it'll knock this game up late in the second quarter. You'd expect him to make most of those attempts from this distance, but it's never a lot. So they'll happily take this and finish off the drive with points. Tucker on to handle the kickoff. This one's fielded at the four-yard line. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Chiefs offense now to take over. They are coming off their first interception of the game. This drive now a chance to rebuild some confidence. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Trying to shake off the interception. He's looking to throw. Chased out to his right. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Pretty even match in this first half. And you're just kind of waiting. Right? You just kind of try to get a feel for which defense is going to come to life. And when you get that sack... That could go a long way to infusing some energy on that side of the ball. All right, here we go. Second down. One of the tight ends in motion left. Play clock down to zero, and the flags come out. Everyone was set, and at the line, the quarterback just didn't snap it before the play clock hit zero. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Another try following the sack. That's in the hands of Moore. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. This offense looking to convert as they come up on third down. They'll try and pick this up on the ground. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Now we're going to have a timeout taken by Baltimore. It's second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Another putt coming up. Matt Ariza to do the honors once again. And after that drive went backwards, he's going to send this one forward. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. That punt finishes as a 60-yard effort. And that is where they'll start the next drive. The Ravens in a very good field position as they come up first and ten. Now it's Lamar. He finds Aguilar. And he's able to move past the 45 before going out. Second and three now.
from the 47. Got a man, coverage lost and complete. It's a gain of 19 on the play. And that's good for a Ravens first down. It was such a privilege for me to watch Marvin Harrison and Reggie Wayne in person in Indianapolis do their work. Daryl Jackson out in Seattle. They showed how great a deep out is as a chain moving play. It's all about getting that leverage at the top of the route and then exploiting the leverage as that ball arrives on time downfield. Here's Jackson to throw. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. Kate, I don't know why every once in a while I'll get these little flashbacks, but a little play like that just flashes me back to the preseason, my first preseason. When one of the veteran QBs said, hey, Brock, whatever you do, just find completions. You will never go broke taking a profit. Go get a completion. They're at a premium in this league. Got a man open. Complete. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains, there wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. From the red zone now. And they will score. It's a Baltimore touchdown. The Ravens take the lead just before halftime. Well, they definitely wanted to get that one out quick, Brock. They did just that, and it ends in six. We hear it all the time, but it is so true, Kate. This is a game about matchups. And when you see a throw that quick, it really was determined pre-snap. It was great design and tremendous execution. Tucker on for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Time left for maybe a return plus a play here as they send this away. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. They've got first and 10, Brock, but time for maybe two plays at most if they even want to try anything. Looking to throw. He's got it. Room to run. Got to be a pretty good actor. Got to be pretty good at selling to that defense. Now that's a drop back pass. When you get a big play on the screen like that, boy, it's choreography by everybody on that offense. All right, this is going to be the play that takes us to halftime. A final throw before the break. Last pass complete over the middle to the tight end. So we've reached the halftime break. It's the Ravens leading so far on the road. Now we'll send you south to our Orlando studios for the EA Sports Halftime Report with Jonathan Coachman. All right, Kate, sit tight. We'll get back to you and Brock in just a moment. But for now, this is our halftime report. With that, the two squads are headed out of the tunnel. So let's get you back out to Kay Scott and Brock Hewitt. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break. Kids, we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. His return starts at the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. 
And he has continued to own this defense and keep on throwing that football, partner, making this performance one that he's going to remember. Uh, but as you like to say, the defense will probably rather forget. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Motioning one of the tight ends. Play action on first down. Got him deep behind the line. Oh, the ball is in. And the fumble recovery is made. Well, that didn't take long, Brock. One play, and they're back out there. Now, that's how a defense can make you awfully happy as an offensive player, especially when you screw it up and you fumble. The defense picks up that offense and puts them right back on the field. Offense heading out now for the Chiefs. Drive starts out with a first and ten. They motion the tight end over. And it's caught. And they'll get this down nearly to the end zone. Instead, stopped at the two. That's a gain of 13, and it sets them up with first and goal. And those are the completions they rely on from their passing game. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. They'll try and punch it in. And he only manages one couple of defenders there to bring him down. Okay, all right. There's a little progress on first and goal. You keep it safe, you push a little closer, and now you're set up for what you want to do on second down. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. Here's Mahomes now. Catch made. You know, Kay, that is the epitome of trust right there. Right when the ball is let out of his hands, I think everybody on the sidelines in the stadium went, because <gasps> he threw it in double coverage. And you may question the decision, but it's tough to challenge it when it produces results like that. So now, here's third and goal. Shotgun snap. They're going to throw. What? And they will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. The Chiefs start the second half with some needed points. Patrick Mahomes, the touchdown. Wow, great work there by the quarterback. The play broke down, didn't really have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise, and in the end brought the best call he could have made. Yeah, and you can do it in different ways in today's NFL, right? The, the Tom Brady's just recently retired. He did it with his brain. He did it with his mind, but you've got to be able to improvise, as you said. you got to be able to create when a play breaks down. And when you can put six on the board, man, does that infuse your offensive group of confidence. That one right down the middle. And we're all knotted up. Kick this one away. That's going to be taken in at the eight. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. The Ravens trotting out their offense. They watch their fumble turn into points, so feeling maybe a little bit of an urge to make up for that now in this series. Set first and ten. Throwing with a blitz on the way. Bateman hauls it in. And he's going to bring it up to the 40 yard line before he stopped. Give him 13 on that play. And that'll be first down, Baltimore. 
Boy, they sure found the right route at the right time to hit the soft spot in that coverage. And that slant, it goes for big yardage. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. They'll run here on first down. And he's able to power this forward, but they stop him after two yards. That's a pretty good stop on first down. This defense now gets a chance to dictate, and that's what all the great defenses want to do, Kate. They want to dictate it on their terms and not just be reacting to what the offense is always doing. Eight yards to go. Let's see how they approach this second down. From the 42. Caught by Flowers. And he's going to go down right along the midfield stripe. He manages a gain of eight there. And that's good for a Ravens first down. Now it's Jackson. Short pass caught by his tight end. And this is marked down right along that 40-yard line. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. I can't tell you how nice it is to have a big, trustworthy tight end in the passing game. Such great size to have. And he forces those defenses to find a way to try to match up when they can't. They're trying an option play. Left side on first down. Across the 20, continuing to work. And he has this all the way down to the 14-yard line. It's a pickup of 26. And that'll be first down, Baltimore. And just in case this offense didn't have enough to contend with, now you got to worry about a quarterback that could do what he just did. Tote the ball himself for a big run. A new set of downs awaits him. Here's first and ten. Flowers will go in motion left. Working inside the red zone. Bails out of the pocket quick. Trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. And right there is the danger, Kate, when you put the ball in the air. How many times do we see these coordinators when you get a nice run, but you gain some steam on the ground, you stick with the ground game. They don't, they call the pass, and the defense reacts, and reacts well with the sack. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Trying again, following the set. Finding Flowers. And he's got it inside the 15 before going out. Wonder what's in the playbook here as they come up on third and 11. Jackson to throw it. Gets it towards the end zone, but it's incomplete. You know, as a QB, I'm going to note that in the back of my head. It's a heck of a break. Knocks the ball away. DBs like that, they tend to, once they get one hand on the ball, have a pretty good beat on you and can get two hands on it the next time. Staring at fourth down, the Ravens will go with Justin Tucker to try for three. This is going to be a 31-yarder from the right half. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And they've taken back the lead. Well, that's why they spend all the time on the practice field during the week. That kind of operation. Perfect rhythm, perfect timing, and a two for two for this kicker. Now Tucker on to handle the kickoff. Kickoff taken at the three. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Their offense running back out now. And I think they'd be content doing everything the same as their prior drive and getting another touchdown here.
Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Looking to throw Mahomes. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. You know, kid, over the years, I have heard defensive coordinators say, hey, you got to earn the right to rush your passer. You got to earn the right for me to call blitzes. And when you call a blitz and you don't get home and you don't hit the quarterback, you've earned nothing. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Toss to the right side. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. Pickup of two here. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. Okay, I'll give some credit to the defense there. Limited the gain to the outside, contained him for minimal yardage, but it was going to be tough to stop him from getting a first down as close as they were to the sticks. To the air, Mahomes. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And it'll be first down, Kansas City. Ooh, I like that. I really like that execution to move the chains. Now that third down call that they had ready, well, they could stick it right back in their pocket for a later occasion. Now it's Mahomes. Moore's got it. And he goes out a little short of the 40. Pickup of 12 on that play. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. Kid, I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. Throwing is Mahomes. Able to get it to Moore. And he'll get this down at the 33-yard line. Well, there's a time to be a little finessey with the football, put a little touch on, and then there's time put your arm into it and let it eat throw it right through your target's chest this one well, that one right there was the ladder smart to make a fastball zing in before anyone could undercut the curl route here's second and two and they stop him he's marked down on that 18 yard line Give him 15 yards on the pickup there. And it'll be first down, Kansas City. I'll tell you this. You don't want to make a living throwing into double coverage, but double coverage and still finding a way to beat the defense and haul it in. That's not a situation many players win, and there aren't a lot of quarterbacks willing to make that throw and trust their receiver to get it done. They'll keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and ten. Here's Mahomes. He's on the move. He's stepping up and takes off with this one. It's out of harm's way after stringing together some nice yards on that run. You know, Kate, back in the day, we had a slip and slide to practice for moments just like that. Actually practicing how to slide and get out of harm's way. Nice gain on the play. And denied that defense yet another chance to take a shot on him. Second down, looking for options. That one's incomplete over the middle. That just goes to show you can't take any completion for granted, even on some of the shortest passes in the game plan. This, our last play of the quarter. Throwing now, third and two. Complete beyond the marker. And he's going to end up out of bounds, which will end our third quarter. So they'll be set up with a first and goal when we come back. It's the Chiefs in possession to start. They trail, but that lead is reachable.
They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Mahomes. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Hit arrived as the ball did to break things up. So now it'll be second and goal. There's the importance of staying in phase as a defender. He was all over him in coverage. And that really did help force the incompletion. Back to throw Mahomes. Buys time. Roll. Oh, he was on the move, but so was the defense. And they take him down. And that sack going to cost them some yardage. Bend. Bend. Even good defenses, great defenses in this league, Kate, they're going to bend at times. But you never want to break. And when you get a sack in the red zone, well, that goes a long ways to helping your efforts. Buckle up. It's third and goal. Looking for a throw here. Escapes the pocket. Oh, and they will score! Touchdown, Kansas City! The Chiefs take a fourth quarter lead. Patrick Mahomes, the touchdown. A lot of pressure on him in that moment, Brock. Find a way to score. Don't let it go to fourth and goal. And he finds a way to come through and gets in the end zone for six. Now how about the other side? Beating the defense right there as well. That group who was so close to pulling off the goal line stand. Yet all that motivation wasn't enough to stop him on third and goal. Now a try to go up by four. Put it out of the range of a field goal. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. on now to kick this one away. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Baltimore running its offense out now. And they settled for a field goal on their last series. So points are a positive, but they'll look to upgrade to a touchdown here. Get this drive started. First and ten. Now it's Lamar. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. Sometimes you're looking to push the ball down the field. As I've said before, the crumbs lead to a cookie. And you never go broke taking a profit, and those big tight ends will often find you those easy check down yards. They're running the option, short side. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. It's easy for me to say up here in the friendly confines of the booth, Kate, but that was not the right read. <laughs> and you hate seeing him absorb yet another hit at the end of the play. You never want him taking unnecessary shots throughout this game. Here's second and 14. Flushed out of the pocket. Oh, he's going for it again. And he rips off good yardage, but it will not move the chains. This is one of those occasions that it looks so promising when you take off as a quarterback, and then you're reminded just how fast these defenses are in the NFL. Couldn't quite move the chains, but it wasn't for a lack of trying. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. Here's Jackson to throw. Finds Aguilar. And he's down. Looks like they made the stop at the 46-yard line. 
Now following that completion, we see a man shaking up. Officials calling for a pause as he gets looked at. set of downs for him from the 46. They go play action on first. Got a man. Coverage lost him. Complete. And they will score. It's a Baltimore touchdown. The Ravens take a fourth quarter lead. So sensational work by the skill man there, Brock. Anytime you can make your quarterback look that good, you know he appreciates it. <laughs> That's a quarterback's best friend, no question. <laughs> but on the other side, gosh, defensively, you got to get that, that skill player down. Period, yeah. end of story. You can't give up that much yards after catch. Needs to go up by a field goal here in the fourth. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Tucker on to handle the kickoff. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. And on that last drive, Brock, he crossed a notable threshold in passing yards for the season. Always nice when you can reach one of those plateaus to look back on after the year is over. The drive will start out with a first and ten. Pacheco gets it from the gun. And he's able to maneuver this up past the 30. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five. Fans love the long ball in baseball. It's like they got the home run derby. But you know what? Talk to managers, and they will tell you small ball can win, too. Singles and doubles, you add them up, you could win a lot of baseball games. Football coaches will tell you, you get runs of that length, it may not be a home run. It may not score points, but it can do some serious damage. It is caught left side. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Well, that one was drawn up and delivered beautifully, efficiently. If it's not circled on the call sheet already, you better believe it is now. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. They go play action here. Got a man open. Complete. And he's able to drive this to the 29 before the stop. That goes as a gain of 25 yards and picks up the first. Well, that's a game that has its roots in preparation during the week. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday kind of stuff. Identifying ways to target the coverage and creating opportunities for big completions. Here's Mahomes now. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he's brought down at the 17-yard line. It's a pickup of 11. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. This really isn't a route designed for a lot of yards, Kate. You're just trying to get a small handful and move on to the next down. Stay in rhythm. And any time you can work some magic after the catch and stretch it out, those are welcome bonus yards.
First down from the red zone. Bales out of the pocket quick. That's a gain of 13, and it sets him up with first and goal. As long as these are the results he's getting, they're going to be just fine with him calling his own number. He does such a good job of seeing the field and knowing when it's his time to take it himself. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Goal to go. They're passing. Why not go back to it again if it's working? Complete. Just stay on schedule. Just stay on schedule, right? SOS. Bad thing on a ship. <laughs> Good thing on a football field. Even a little completion keeps this offense on schedule. The nose of the football inside the one. Here's second and goal. <laughs> Trying an option play. Headed left. And he gets to the end zone. Touchdown. The Chiefs take a fourth quarter lead. Patrick Mahomes, the touchdown. His third of the game on the ground. Well, Brock, you know this better than most. In baseball, it's three strikes and you're out. I know you experienced that a lot, but on the gridiron, you're feeling pretty happy, right? If you could strike the end zone three times in one game. Yeah, I'd rather go hockey and soccer. That's just a positive guy <laughs> in me. They call that a hat trick. It's worth celebrating. You. And yeah, they should celebrate this effort. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. on now to kick this one away this return starts at the five and he gets across the 30 before he's brought down the Ravens and Lamar Jackson ready to go again on offense and this is some quality film review right here look at this couple of touchdowns good amount of yards too he's been moving them down the field like only he can putting together quite the game for himself in the process Trailing by one score late here. Okay, maybe this is the return. Maybe this is what helps him get right back into it. Good field position now to start their most important series yet of this game. They've got first down from the 31. Now here's Lamar. Finding Flowers. He's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Lamar back to throw. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. That's the two-minute warning here from Baltimore. Ravens needing four points. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Flying down the middle with Henry. And he works this to the 38 before going down. 12 yards on that play and a good call nets him the first. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. Tight end going in motion here. Throwing now. Taken in by Henry. And he nearly gets to the 25 before going out. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And that's good for a Ravens first down. 
To this day, I can still see the faces of the big guys in the huddle. When you call a screen like that, instead of them just getting knocked backwards, they get to be salesmen. They get to push those linemen downfield and then tee off and go hit somebody like they did right there. They get to Henry on the inside handoff. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Give him four that time, so six to go on second down. He'll expect more from himself on those type of plays, but there is nobody that's going to complain about that one. If you can do math, four plus four plus four equals a first down. Clock's still running as the Ravens try hurrying everyone up. Now to throw. He's in trouble, and the Chiefs bring it down. And that pushes him back, third down, coming up. The challenge with so many sacks is it just disrupts everything in the rhythm and timing of your offense. All of these negative plays. Hey, this league and this game is hard enough when you're on schedule. All of these sacks set you behind the chains. Well, you've seen how disruptive it is for this offense. Flush down out to his left. He's running for it. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Here he is to throw. He brings it in. And he'll go down shy of the end zone. They mark him at the four. I feel so bad. I really do. And I don't mean this sarcastically, Kate. <laughs> I feel bad for these guys in coverage. I don't know how you defend some of these players today. Because they get that drag route. They get one step inside of you. Well, there's very little you can do other than make the tackle. It's second and goal. Looking to throw it. This one's caught. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Timeout taken by the Ravens. That is their final one. And now they're powerless to stop that clock with a timeout at least. They've held him out twice. Here we go. Third and goal. To throw. Too far out of the back of the end zone. It goes incomplete. Well, you've got to have a short memory in the NFL. Incompletions happen. Now you've got to make the adjustment and go get the next one. Three plays haven't gotten it done. Now a fourth to try to reach that end zone. Looking to throw. Rolling left, buying some time. And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the one. So score this a win for the Chiefs. And it was a game for fans of high-scoring football, wasn't it? I know Brock was enjoying seeing both of these offenses work. And really not a lot to dislike from either group. Just one side working at a slightly better clip than the other. That was the difference in the win. So for Brock Heward and all of our crew, I'm Kate Scott wrapping up another edition of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Chiefs as we say so long from Kansas City.